Hi guys, this is Quayla After Dark and I am here to show you guys a really, really cheap way of doing a DIY um, ombre. So this is a paper towel row and this is some plastic that I received from a package and I have some little socks that I cut out and some little arm stockings and I have some bows and needle and thread and some scissors. And of course, I have my little nightcap drink here. Um, yes, so I call this channel Quayla After Dark because it's at nighttime when I'm recording my videos and kids are sleeping and husband's probably sleep tired of working. So let's just get right into the video and let's get started. So again, this is a paper towel roll and I just take the plastic around it. Now this, I don't expect to last forever, but it will last while you do your nail preps. I'll be doing a lot of those on this channel as well. And showing you guys how I do my nails and um, my pedicures on my feet. Uh, I'll probably do some home cooking videos. So I'm just gonna take this sock and I'm gonna pull it right on over. Kinda looks like an arm rest already. cushion and um, to make it kind of sit up for you so I'm gonna put this one on and these are just some old socks and stockings that I cut out I'm just using them they were just laying around the house so I just thought of this and say what the heck why not just try to make this into a order me one because I will be ordering the armrest. But this is just something for now. And uh, just pull that right on over. And it's going to make it really, really thick. And let's see here. All right. And then I see the stocking came down a little bit in here. You guys can see that it's like black here. This came down. So I'm going to go back in here and pull this up. Even. It's coming. There we go. I might not need all of this black stuff. I might have to cut some off. So far, <clears throat> it's looking good. get ready to cut it off. But I'm not going to do that. Mm, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Nice little arm rest. I'm not done. Don't judge me now. I'm not done. what I'll do with those ends in a minute and I have another little piece that I'm gonna put on here because I want it really thick and firm and this these are just little arm slips you put on your arms that's all these are but I figure they can go over this I probably can just leave it like this, but I want to make it even thicker. 
and you can use either hand just when you're doing your nails or whatever you know it's really neat I can't tell you how I came up with this idea but I did come up with this because I know I'm about to do my nails and I want something to lean on while I do them Alright, so we have all of those on there. And just look at that firmness on that. Relaxing, it doesn't hurt. You can't feel the thing. You can feel it here, but it's soft, so you can lean it either way. This is more firmer. You know, but it's going to go like this in either way. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to the end of them. And I have my little needles here. And I am, I'm going to take a sip all this talking. That is good. I will do a video on how I also make my late night drinks. <clears throat> I'll do a video on that. Just want to even these up here. I'm going to sew these. Oh, it's already even. I'm going to sew these together to close them up and I have some string here I'm gonna bedazzle you know put some little bling to it make it look nice and neat and let's go ahead and tie this into a knot get that on out of the way all right so I have my needle here and I'm gonna take these ends and I am well, you know what? I just thought of something. So maybe I could probably leave it like this, like a little roller. And I'm going to take this. Now these are long. I don't need the. I don't need it to be that long. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And one for each side. <clears throat> And I'm going to use two different colors. So there's two in here. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm just going to cut it right in half. Because I don't need it to be that long. So I have two for this side. And two for this side. And I'm going to take these. And I'm going to tie them around. doing is I'm taking the needle and I'm holding both of them up and I'm going to go through it like that come back out I'm going to hold this end here and I'm going to go back in again on the same area and I'm going to go through the little hole and I'm going to pull it just like that you see that so it catches both of them at the same time. And I'm not worried about this showing because I'm going to tie the bows around it. So you won't even be able to see that. And I'm going to go around just a couple of times. Show you guys what I'm talking about here. And look, it's already pinching it close together. thread is up because once I tie them off you won't even be able to see it. Alright so just give me a few seconds here and get this done. So I hope everyone is having a nice day today. Well nice night enjoying their evening. You know relaxing you know, today was Monday. And it's 
going through both of them and I'm just holding it So that is closed and we're just going to take it here and make sure that it's closed up. There we go. See that? It's all closed up. Do it one more time. Make sure that needle gets through there. And just pull it through. And this time, Take it through this last time. I almost poked myself. Alright, I'm gonna cut this end off and I'll show you what I'll do. I'll take it, split the thread. And I'll just tie it in a little knot. Nails get in the way sometimes. I'm trying to do something. Alright. And you just cut that little piece of extra. Bam. That's it. Take this and pull it up just a little. threading the outside you, you can't tell and it's all it's in a nice little knot I'm gonna double knot it just to make sure it don't come a loose and then I am going to tie it and give it a little bow up this side and then we'll be all done. Let me get another sip. That's really good. Alright. So we're going to take some thread. We don't need that much. A little more here. I think that's good. Cut that right off of there. Take one of the little needles here. getting in my way. Alright, 
got that little knot there. And let's go ahead and do this side. And we're just gonna do the same thing that we did to the other side. Making sure all of them's pulled up. We wanna get through both of these so it can be tight and nothing be falling out on you. And just pull them a little bit, not too much. Just go in because you don't want this string to be hanging out. It really doesn't matter because as you see on this side, there's no string. You can't see it. It's tied up. So you just take it, pull it through, and I just hold the other end because I'm going to take it through the loop. See? Take it through that loop. And then just pull it. Boom. That way that part can be in there. Make sure you're getting both of them. See, it's got both. This one and this one. Then you just go through. Pull it together. And it's really easy. It's, it's simple. It doesn't take that long. This took me all in maybe 15, 30 minutes to do. Um, nice little arts and crafts and you know something for now you know when you don't have one and you really want one like me and I didn't have the time to order it yet but I am going to order me one that I'm wanting to do my nails tomorrow and I want one to do my nails with so I just figured I'll just come and make my own and then tomorrow I'll get everything ready. I'm going to record that video too. Just to show you guys how I do my own nails. Um, it saves me lots of money. I've been doing my own nails for a few months now. So I'm new at this. But hey. They look good to me. Alright. And you see how it's just pulling together. Like that other side. If you sew one down and not the other one, it might come up. I don't know. I don't, this is my first time ever making one of my own. So, we'll see what happens. So when we tie it up, um, felt like my needle was getting stuck there for a second. All right, and then I'm gonna pull it through here, and that's gonna be the last one for that one. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing like I did on the other side. I'm just gonna split that thread once again. Pull it tightly so you know it, it has a good grip. Just not too hard where you break it, but just hard enough where you can give it a little tug. And you just tie it in that. I'd like to do it two times just to make sure it is secure. And I just take and I cut that thread off. Boom. And look at that. Alright, we're gonna take this. Now we're gonna try to do what we did to the other side. Let's see. Make sure they even this time. That side I'm gonna make sure. So I'm gonna make sure this side even. Alright. And I'm just gonna put a, a um circle on here first before I slide it over. Just 
but I'm gonna fold it, but not too tight to where it's already in the mouth. See, still got that little um, in there. And I'm just gonna grab that. Pull it nice and tight. And I'm gonna tie it one more time. All right, now let's try to see if we can get another bow. Let's see how this one turns out. Oh, look at that. That one turned out way better. Way better. Look at this one. It's still not too bad. No one's going to be using it but me. So, And if you like, you could go ahead and like sew this on there so you know your bows won't come apart. But I'm going to be the only one that's using this. It's just for my use only. And look at that. Our armrest. You have your own armrest. And it's firm. Doesn't hurt. You use for both hands. Like... That's really cool. You know, you're up there, you get your nails done and roll it back and forth. I think that's pretty simple. Easy at home DIY armrest. Really, really cheap and affordable. Guys, you can use things for your kitchen. This is wonderful. Please hit that subscribe um, so you can be updated with new notifications. Um, hit the like leave a comment if you have something you know you like to share or anything like that i'm always reading the comments and everything so guys i thank you for watching my video and again you were hanging out with quail after dark and i'll see you guys again